What's up everybody? Andy the Cameron Guy here. Thanks for coming by the channel. Well, do we have something special for you today? You guys have been asking for me to do a video on this truck since it was announced. Today is that day. So let's go check it out. All right, so here we are. Today's the day. Thanks for your patience. I know you guys have been asking and wanting this for a long time. Here we are. So today what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do the full walk around like I normally do. I'm not really gonna do a comparison to the W900 yet, but this is more just a review of the W990 as it sits all by itself. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, we're gonna do it below. We're doing this one in the showroom. I, uh, I was really surprised with the feedback in a video I posted a few weeks ago where I asked if you prefer a showroom tour or a lot tour or an on-site tour and lots of responses. I haven't tallied who's who and what's what, but uh, the showroom I think was the winner. Everybody wanted the uh, showroom tour, so here we are. All right, so introducing the Kenworth W990. This is a 2020 model year. It is a unit that is in stock. It is for sale. So if you are interested in this truck, it is for sale. Uh, we're gonna go through some of the features of the truck here. We're gonna look at the hood and kind of go across. Uh, the truck here comes with a aluminum metal mesh grill, uh, which is found on our T880s our T660s and uh, in our medium duty product line. So we've put that on the, uh, the grill here which protects your rad with the bug screen mounted in behind. So you can kind of see the bug screen right there. So that's permanently mounted in behind. Uh, now going along with the tradition of the W900, uh, we have these extra ribs on the grill. So that really kind of finishes it off, helps to support the grill. And this is not plastic. Nope, this is not plastic. This is uh, stainless steel. So it's a heavy duty material that won't rust or corrode on you or peel. Uh, it has the Texas style bumper and uh, the, the hood has the fenders uh, with a seam running down here so you can repaint the sides if you do uh, cause any damage there. So looking at these headlights, these are a new design. It's actually the same headlight that's on the T880S. Um, I believe, I'm pretty sure that they are because they look almost identical. Uh, I haven't actually verified that, but we'll just go with that for now. Uh, the truck has a 13,200 pound front axle and it's mounted on drum brakes. You can get them with disc if you prefer. Uh, we got the same marker lights that you would see on a T880 or a T680. Uh, what's new on the W990 is this hood scoop, the air intake cleaner. So being as it's a 2.1 meter cab, it's a little bit wider than our uh, traditional cabs or the 1.9 meter. There isn't actually enough room to fit the same size of air breather on the side of the hood here or side of the cab. So the new design has come out. Uh, this has the air intake right here and uh, the stainless with the Kenworth emblem right up in there. So new design. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. I'm still, uh, it's growing on me. But anyhow, I've seen them actually painted where you can paint them aftermarket and that looks really sharp. I kind of like that. Uh, same mirrors as on a T880 and a T680. You can get them in painted or in the chrome shell, which is shown here. 
Uh, we have this stainless steel uh, close-out panel similar to on a W900 uh, design so you can have a little bit more chrome on it. We did the polished battery box, polished def cover, polished straps and tanks. Now you can get the seven inch straps or the two inch straps. This truck here has the two inch uh, obviously so you can see that. So you have those J brackets that hang down low and uh, if a person wants there is those uh, those chrome panels that you can put down below there which really finishes it off uh, if you have the two inch strips. So that's something that uh, maybe the next guy that's buying this truck is gonna wanna do. Uh, it has the option to get the lights underneath the cab, which we did not do, but uh, you can do that. You can put the lights on uh, uh, aftermarket. So that's something that uh, might be able to be done. Now looking under the cab here, you can see there is a lot of space, lots of room. So uh, uh, if you have your fuel tanks and you wanna have the fuel tanks end at the end of the sleeper here, you can have the fuel fill underneath tank would be angled a little bit of course but you'd have quite a bit of room to get underneath there and fill it up with the tanks uh, kind of tucked underneath uh, now this truck has the 76 inch midroof sleeper which we're going to go inside here in a moment and uh, check out and uh, you can get them with or without the sleeper extenders so uh, this here is obviously without which kind of gives it that classic look uh, we ordered the truck with the access steps on the left hand side. You got your grab handle, your hose antenna pogo stick right there. Uh, now you can also get LED lights on the cab, on the back of the cab. So those are LED lights right up there. So the flush mount and you can also do the pedestal uh, lights up high as well. So you can put those up there. Uh, now on the back here we have the aluminum rims as well. Uh, these are the regular polish. I believe they're not the Durabrites, I don't think. Uh, no, yeah, they're just the uh, level one mirror finish. So uh, you can repolish those ones, which uh, come out a little bit brighter than say on a Durabrite. Um, down here is your AG460 suspension. So that's the uh, Kenworth eight bag air ride. And we have the Holland 35 ton or FW35 24 inch slide fifth wheel. Uh, order the truck with the fifth wheel ramps and uh, we got the super 40 rear ends with 391 gears and obviously these are on 24.5 rubber uh, is what this setup is here so uh, looking on this side we have a much larger fuel tank it is the 150 gallon fuel tank so lots of space uh, lots of fuel capacity on the truck you have a little bit of space here if you wanted to put a toolbox if you're going to go on flat deck with this truck it's uh, definitely an option there so uh, dual exhaust on the truck. Now, with this wider cab, the factory does not offer the seven inch tailpipes. Uh, now, I'm hoping that one day it will be available, but for now, we are looking at the five inch tailpipes with the uh, stainless uh, down here. Now, only one pipe is connected. That's just uh, how we do it on this size of cab. So you have a single, uh, a single exhaust stack that actually is connected and that's just more for uh, preventing moisture from going in the other one and uh, it's all to do with the emissions back pressures etc but uh, there's your emissions toolbox it is polished with the polished end caps uh, so that looks really sharp the aluminum there so let's open up this hood and uh, let's take a look underneath now in the past I have done videos on W900s and sorry, I'm gonna turn the camera around here. So in the past, I've done videos on W900s and maybe you've seen them, maybe you haven't, but uh, in trying to open up the hood on a W900, I'm not a very heavy guy, I'm like 170 pounds, but uh, opening up the hood is just a struggle for me. I can never do it. But this one, I just did it, first try. So a lot easier. I don't know how many pounds are required, but it is a lot easier hood to open than on a W900. Under the hood, there's two engine choices that you can get. That is not an option with the W900. You can get the ISX 15 or the Packard MX-13 engine in this truck. So uh, that is a big difference between the two. Other than that, the axles, the, the transmission, the frame, all of that stuff can be identical from one truck to the next. Uh, but the engine, this is the, uh, 
the option on the 990. You can get the Packard or the Cummins. Uh, so this is a 510 horsepower, 1850 torque engine. Uh, so it's a 13 liter platform, which is the lightest weight, highest, um, the highest horsepower and highest torque rating for a 13 liter platform on the market, period. So nobody comes close to that. Um, as far as the options under the hood here, we have your remote boosting terminals, which we're connecting to run the marker lights so batteries don't drain down. Uh, now you'll see a lot of common and similar parts on T880s or 680s that I've reviewed. Uh, we got the same mounting uh, hardware here for the hood. Um, similar things that echo the W900. You got the little uh, support brackets right there. Kind of support the, the fender a little bit more. And uh, so that's in there. As far as the uh, rest of the engine compartment here, we have your power steering, your engine oil fill, your engine oil check, uh, fuel filter primer if you need to prime it if you run out of fuel. Your air filter is up high and uh, all your air intake routing runs underneath the hood there. So you can kind of see, I'll just get you in here nice and close. You can see here, it kind of ducks all the way through the ducting and uh, you have that feature right there. And then you can get that hood, feet, hood uh, plenum, which goes right in this area here to add additional filtration if you're in a really dusty environment. So your headlights are really sealed up nice and tight. You got these uh, little screws to open it up and uh, get access to change your bulbs, which are very inexpensive to replace as opposed to a whole new unit. Um, your washer fluid is mounted up high here by the rad along with your coolant. So that's a new location for, uh, for the washer fluid compared to other models. So let's look on the other side here for a sec. So over here we have the hot side of the engine, the turbo. There's your HVAC system, same components for changing your air filters. And uh, right there, there's a secondary filter that you can get. Let's go for a walk. I'm gonna go for a walk here. I might have those filters outside here. Uh, here's our filters. So that is the main primary filter. Uh, we don't have the secondary filters out on display, but they're back in parts. So you can add a secondary filter to the truck if you're, again, in a really dusty environment or have allergies and want to keep the uh, keep the air coming into the HVAC system nice and clean. Sorry for zooming in right on my face there. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll close up the hood. There's the uh, safety feature to prevent it from blowing back on you there. All right, so here we are inside the truck. We have a beautiful redone new interior. Uh, as far as the layout, it's very much the same as a T880, T680, 76 inch midroof sleeper. But uh, with this model, we have the new limited edition interior and Kenworth, you guys did a great job. I really love the stitching, the royal blue, it looks really sharp. Uh, I'm just a sucker for black on black. Black interiors just look really good and the blue accents just make it pop and finish it off. So let's, uh, let's get right into this here. So starting over here on the driver's side, uh, we have the royal blue limited edition interior. The stitching just looks really uh, gorgeous. Uh, as far as the wood grain dash, you have this, uh, what do they call it again? The rosewood, I believe is what it's called. I'll put it uh, down in the bottom here just to confirm what we're looking at. But uh, we have the totally black interior. So where this is normally dark gray, it is black and just looks awesome. Um, up here you have your mirror controls, your heat, and your window lifts and your power door locks. Uh, over here, we have your uh, switches for the interior. So there's your backup lights uh, on the back of the bunk, the flush mount. We have a switch and wiring for customer installed fog light. Here's your brightness adjustment for the, uh, for the dash. There is your interior dome lights and your uh, dimmer for the dash. Up here is your signal and your uh, washer fluid. There's your interrupter switch for your clearance lights. 
Uh, we have the leather wrapped smart wheel. So you have your uh, radio controls right up here and then your cruise controls right up there with the Jake brake uh, hiding right behind here. Uh, so that's a same feature on a T680 and T880, which I really like actually. Uh, so your standard gauge cluster is right there. And then uh, down here, there's a few extra spots for additional gauges or switches, I mean. Uh, there's your trailer brakes, engine fan, traction control, auxiliary light switch, a couple more spares, uh, your DPF regen, and the uh, sleeper lights. That's a three-way switch. I've shown that before. So you disengage that, and uh, the light that goes off, and then there it's green. And there's a switch in the bunk for that too. Uh, so over here, we have your air suspension dump. Power divider front and rear diff lock, the PTO switch and air slide for the fifth wheel. Uh, additional gauges. We left this on here, just we'll let the owner take that off so nobody's grubby fingers are gonna gunk up the, uh, the nav plus screen. There's your hazards, uh, your marker lights, your clearance lights, etc. So that's all right in there. And uh, this truck has a little storage pocket down below. There's your uh, cup holders, power outlets, 18-speed manual transmission, of course. And uh, we've ordered the truck with the uh, best seats that you can get in a truck, as far as I'm concerned. These are the GT703 Leather Limited Edition uh, heated and cooled seats. So they're the uh, perforated seats, so you get a little bit of airflow inside of them there. And they're also heated. And uh, this one here is the swivel option. So I'll show you how that function works here in a moment. But uh, let's jump into the bunk and check out what we got out back there. I'm just gonna adjust the cameras here. Okay, so in the bunk here, we have the lower storage shelves. So these are the deep tub style drawers, same as in the common cab, the T880 and the T680. Uh, so those are the same drawers that you can get. They are removable. Uh, there's a few latches that you can put under like just pull the latches underneath and then they pop out So if you want to bring them inside to fill them up with uh, your clothes You can do that and then bring the bring the bass the bins back and forth. So you're not carrying baskets in and out uh, So a really nice touch here with the uh, limited edition interior the table is in midnight black so you gotta love that just looks really sharp as opposed to that gray uh, so that's there and then the, there's your uh, TV wall mount. Uh, the factory says it's up to a 22 inch. I have had customers comment and say, I put a 32 inch on there. Uh, so not saying that you can do that, but uh, other people have. It is rated only for a 22 inch as far as the weight. So uh, what that's rated for. So you got your power outlet here. It's just a standard 12 volt. If you ordered the truck with a inverter, you would get a plug in right over there for your, your TV mount. Uh, up here is your microwave. Uh, so that's where that would go. And then you have storage up here. Uh, so over here is your storage shelf on the back wall. Uh, so you have added shelves right here and i don't think i've featured this in any video yet so that's uh that's a new function and then uh over here is your diamond vit interior with the w990 logo on the back wall we have windows and doors on both sides and then up here is your heating and ventilation air conditioning control for the bunk uh you have door locks you have your interior lights here uh you have your sorry that's the night light that's the interior light and then a 12 volt 12 volt and then your fridge control which is over here here's your fridge so that's a nice drawer style fridge you have a nice drawer right there and then uh, the full length closet with the shelf in it as well all right so thanks for coming by to watch this video i hope you enjoyed it there will be more w990 videos i have another one coming here shortly and, and more stock arriving daily so uh, stay tuned to watch those videos. Uh, if you want to get notified when the next videos come out, just hit that subscribe button down here and make sure you hit off that little bell. Just because you subscribe to the channel doesn't necessarily mean you'll be notified. So hit off that bell, that way you get that notification when a new video comes out. Uh, also, if you are interested in checking out my website, just click up here, you can see the uh, 
the website that I have put together with all the different social media links. Uh, some of our inventory is showcased on there as well. So, so thanks for coming by and I appreciate you uh, being a part of this, uh, this tour and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you love this truck. Uh, and don't forget, if you still want a W900, they're not going anywhere. So give me a call if you want one of those. Thanks a lot for coming by. I'm very thankful, very grateful. I'm saying thank you all the time, but have yourself the world's best day. All right, so uh, starting out over here on the driver's side on the door, uh, as on, man, this camera is really dirty here. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. All right, that's much better. A lot cleaner. Almost, actually. Hang on. One more. Is that a scratch? Uh-oh. Scratch lens, time for new camera. Anyhow. Anyhow. Uh, I don't think I can the video or not. Maybe I'll say it's the end of the loop for real. But, uh... Anyhow, I better polish that out later on. So, anyhow. Yeah,